Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, I will talk about that why IITs are special and how can they make or how can they produce these brilliant batches of students, specifically BTEC students, year after year, batches after batches. And this is something I will share from a very personal experience that I had recently while I was doing a teaching assistancy or TSE in a programming lab for the first year BTEC student. And what I have seen is that here professors set a very tough programming assignment for the first year BTEC student from the very first day. So that their, you know, their, their bar has been set in a, in a very, very high level. And, and, and to solve those questions, uh, students have to do a lot of hard work by their, by their own. And they have to do a lot of extra study than what is being taught in the class. Because sometimes the question that is being asked in the lab, even, even not, uh, not been taught in the class directly. So you need to do a lot of hard work from your end so that you can do well in the exam and the lab session. For example, I'll give you a example of last week. So last week in the programming lab, the assignment was related to sorting uh, setup numbers uh, with, with March sort. Now what happened in normal colleges that you'll be given a list of numbers, you have to implement the March sort algorithm and that's it, right? And even for the first year student, implementing March sort itself is a very big deal. But here in IIT, it's, it's, it's one level above that. The question that is being asked in the programming like last week was that you will be given 10 points in the R2 plane or two dimensional plane. And there is another number, suppose another point that is X, which is a, which is a different number. Now what you have to do, you need to find the distance from this X point to all these 10 points. And based on this distance, you have to sort these 10 points and you have to print it. The X coordinate and Y coordinate of each point, you have to print in the sorted format. Now think how much difficult it is for a first year student to implement this work. Like, like this, all these lab, uh, lab uh, you know, sessions that used to be a very open book uh, or open internet session where you'll be given three hours uh, to solve a particular assignment or problem and you can use internet and all. But even a student can get the code from the internet, the uh, code for the mass sort, he can't implement it. He need to know how to find the distance between two points and he need to, you know, implement it for these 10 points and then you have to, you have to implement the Mercer algorithm. Even if the student gets the code for finding distance between two points, he need to know how to integrate these different pieces of code together in a C program. That is also a learning experience. And it's not that everybody is able to solve this uh, coding assignment. There are many students I have seen in this lab, uh, lab session that they are doing coding for the first time. They don't have any prior coding experience. This is very difficult for them to solve this kind of questions, which is not directly an implementation of what is being taught in the class. Because prior to coming, prior to coming to IITs, they might have done, you know, they, they, are, they are accustomed with this kind of thing. That what is, something will be taught in the class, and then question will be asked from there, and they'll be solving it. But here, from the very first day, IIT is breaking that myth that you will be given something out of nowhere. You have to think about it. You may get help from the book, from the internet, but you need to think about it and then only you'll be able to solve it and get the full mark. And here is the difference. This is something IIT NCOs in every uh, classes, in every lab session, every exam that you, you are bound to think about it. And, the, and at the end of that session, you will learn something out of it. And if you do it, year after year, year, day after day, classes after classes, something obviously you will learn at the end of your curriculum. So this is something that IIT is ensuring that I don't think the other colleges like tier 2, tier 3 colleges, they don't set the bar so high and there I think they are lagging. IIT, they always set the bar so high that you, you are bound to think, you are bound to go back to your room, think about it do extra study so that you can come back and do well in the, in the, in the next assignment and next lab. So this is something that I personally feel uh, because I am from a very tired, uh, tired through a tired three college. I have done my BTEC from there, but I haven't seen this one. Even implementing Merge sort was difficult for me, but here it's completely different. And that's why these students, they are, they are really brilliant once they com uh, complete this BTEC curriculum. So that's it guys, that was my thought and that's why I thought let's uh, share it with all of you. Uh, let me know what you think and if you have anything to know about IITs or ISC or PhD BTEC, let me know in the comment section and if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly and if you like this video, please hit a like and share this video to 
uh, many other people so that they also get to know about it that's it about this video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye